We're gonna take a look at Boise, Idaho homes with acreage, which a lot of people desire, but it's a little bit harder to get that in the Boise area now than it used to be. We're gonna jump right into the first house, which is a house listed for $890,000. This is a seven bedroom, five bathroom, 4,000 square feet, and this is on an acre lot. On the map here, I will zoom out. As you can see, South Meridian it is located on the eastern side of South Meridian, a little bit closer to the city. This actually has great access to the Boise and Meridian areas, a great location. As you can see, it is a nice looking house. I tried picking homes for all of these that are ready to move in. They don't need too much updates. A beautiful lawn here on that acre lot. This is that older style home that's more of a split level. Good look over here. It has a little shop in the back, a lot of room to do whatever you wanna do with that acre. You can use it for storage. You can even run it out to store other people's trailers or boats and make a little bit of extra money on the side. Beautiful entrance here with that nice front patio. Decent landscaping, not gonna have too much uptick, but it is nicer. It looks like it's been renovated fairly recently. You have a beautiful kitchen with some nice appliances, an awesome stove, dishwasher there, great bar stool. In this South Meridian area, it's a great place to live. You have easy access to the airport. It's just east of this, where this home is located. You have location to the Y, which is where the interstate intersects and it goes into downtown Boise, or you can head west towards Nampa and Meridian. Looks like it has an awesome suite here, overlooking your awesome backyard. Overall, a great looking home, nicely updated. I love that farmhouse light grays and white style. It has a second kitchen, so if you want like a mother-in-law suite or you even want to rent out that bottom unit, there's two kitchens available here. You could have it as two separate living situations, which is an awesome opportunity. More renovations in that basement for that second living area. Overall, just an awesome looking house. And just outside of Boise, it's close to pretty much anything, which is hard to find when you have some of these acre lots, especially with renovated houses. Awesome list price for what you get here on a full acre. Now, before we go into home number two, my name is Brady Fagel. I am a local realtor in the Boise, Idaho area. If you have any questions on any of these homes, you're looking for acreage, I'd love to help answer any of the questions. I'd love to get to know you and see what your story is and see why you're moving to the Boise area and help you out however I can. So call or text me anytime. My number's up on the screen or book a call with me if you feel more comfortable with me calling you. The link is down in the description, but let's get right back into these houses and we'll go on to home number two. House number two is listed at 699,000, so that $700,000 mark. This one is on a 1.4 acre lot, so a little bit more acreage on this property. This one is a five bedroom, three bathroom, 3,300 square feet. And as we go to the map, you can see that this one is also located in South Meridian, but it's a little bit farther out of town. You can see it's on one of the last main roads in that South Meridian area. CUNA is just over here. So a little bit farther commute into the Boise area, but it is still a great location. You're not super far like some of the homes that we may see here a little bit later on. Overall, a good looking home. You can see that bigger sized lot, although you are still close to the subdivisions and as you can see some roads there, it looks like they had some farming going on. So more options there to do whatever you'd like with this home. It does look a little bit out of date, not as nice a landscaping or a front entrance, but the inside, is great. You can see those awesome hardwood floors. It has more of that modern look with that spiral staircase. Awesome windows there in that living area. Overall, just a great looking home. It's not staged, but you can picture what it would look like if it had nice furniture in there. Nice open floor plan in this South Meridian in this CUNA area. It's not super far from the Boise area. Another thing to remember is that there is Meta, which is Facebook, which is planning to put an office out there which is going to bring a lot of new jobs and then micron which is the microchip manufacturing company in the boise area is putting an actual manufacturing plant in that cuta south meridian area over by where this house is located there's a lot of growth potential in this area as an investment perspective that growth will bring a lot of new jobs and a lot of new homes and a lot of new demand into this area which can have some potential to really increase the value of that land and that one point 
1.4 acres. The third home we're gonna take a look at is listed at 749,000. This home is a little bit smaller, but as you will see, has a little bit nicer upgrades and there is a pool as an option. This home is also on an acre lot. And as we pull up the map here, you can see it's in that same location in that South Meridian. Technically this is Boise. It's right next to the airport. You'll have some noise coming from the airplanes and flights coming in and out of the Boise airport. But as I said, has an awesome backyard here. As you can see that great pool lounging area with that nice deck and these nice finishes on the inside. This is also a renovated home. Awesome kitchen table, staged well, beautiful kitchen there. Not as open of a home as some of the other ones we've taken a look at. Whoever renovated this house did an awesome job with that nice modern country style feel. These are all some nice high-end finishes. And again, in this Boise area, it's another great location. The, all three of these homes have been in that similar neighborhood, but this home is a lot closer to the Boise airport, to Boise's downtown, so it is a little bit more of an ideal location. And if you're looking for acreage with a pool and a hot tub and awesome things that you don't have to put much work into, some of those other homes had land that was not developed, you would have to decide what you wanna do with that land. This one is already ready to go. There's a little bit there that you can do whatever you want with, but for the most part, this home is ready to go. And listed at that 749,000, it's a great option at a great price point for what you get. Changing it up a little bit on this fourth home, this home is listed at $849,000, and this one has 10 acres so this has a lot more acreage if you're looking for more than an acre it's a three bedroom three bath 1800 square feet as i said we're mixing it up a little bit this is going to be in a different location and this is technically nampa but i would consider it that south meridian area all of this area out here is going to be that south meridian you kind of have a mix of subdivisions farmland there's not a ton going out here as far as amenities if you do choose this house nampa right here is going to be one of your closest options when it comes to grocery stores and some of the amenities that you would need day to day. Now, taking a look at the home, nice entrance there, not as nice landscaping as some of the other houses we've seen. And as you will see, this home is not renovated like the other ones. It's not brand new, it's not fully renovated, but it's not completely out of date. Older cabinetries, older kitchen, it does have some nice appliances. It's still an awesome home, and on that 10 acres, you get a lot of land that you can decide what you want to do with. The location of this home is farther west it's closer to the nampa area you're not going to be as close to the boise downtown area and a lot of the amenities that boise and meridian have to offer as a whole this is a little bit less desirable of a location you're farther away from lake lowell you're farther away from the foothills if you want to be outside of the city limits it is a great option as you can see there's a lot of amenities that come with this house on top of that 10.2 acres there's garages, there's covered patios. Not only is this 10 acres, but it has a huge yard, a lot more landscaping, so there is gonna be much more upkeep with this house. Listed at $850,000 for 10 acres, even though this home is a little bit more out of date and it's a little bit smaller than some of the other houses we've taken a look at, it is priced pretty well for the amount of land that you get if you're looking for that five, 10 acre lot for your next home. The fifth house we have is moving up in price a little bit. We're jumping up above the million dollar mark. This is gonna be in a similar location, although this one is closer to the CUNA area, as you will see. This home is listed at $1.15 million, and this one's gonna be another good size home. Five bedroom, four bathroom, 3,800 square feet, and it's gonna be 2.5 acres. As I mentioned, it's in that CUNA area. So similar location to some of these other houses, but it's actually in the CUNA area. It's a lot farther out than the other houses, so you have a lot more of a commute if you wanna to go to the Boise Meridian Nampa areas. But if you do like being out that far from town, it has some great options to get along the Snake River. You have the Birds of Prey, you have a dam down here where there's a lot of fishing opportunities and a lot of this area out here is a lot more wild there's a lot less people so that is a great option if that is what you're looking for that can be a bonus as you can tell this home's newer it's a newer build it's not like the other ones that were renovated older builds on those 2.5 acres this home also has a pool and an awesome backyard to entertain guests 
This is going to be your more traditional kitchen with those hardwood floors and that more wood cabinetry. Also does have those nice appliances and located close to that CUNA area. It is nice to have CUNA right there because CUNA does have some of the amenities like your grocery stores, your restaurants, some of those amenities that you need on day to day if you want to just run into CUNA and CUNA does run on a small town feeling. So CUNA is more of that small town feel. You can see this house has a sauna, which is an awesome added benefit. And again, that CUNA area is more of that small town feel. A lot of people in CUNA love that about the area is that you feel like you're close to everybody. This home also has RV parking, that detached garage. So there's a lot of garage space. There's even a suite here. So if you have visitors or you want to rent this extra space out, you can. Again, 2.5 acres just outside of the CUNA area. An awesome looking home. And the next one we have on the list. The next home, we're going to be mixing it up a little bit. We're going to go back down in price at $789,000 list price. So a little bit cheaper than the last couple we looked at. This home is going to be a three bedroom, three bathroom, 2000 square feet, and it's going to be 1.05 acres. So going down a little bit in that acres, this is also going to be in that same location as you have seen throughout the course of this video a lot of the acreage lots and homes are going to be in the south meridian area at that more affordable price once you get into this eagle star middleton area you will see that the home values and the home prices get a lot more so a lot of these houses that we're looking at in the south meridian area are going to be a lot more affordable than that eagle star area this house is another newer build it's not an old home you can see it is that more farmhouse style look. Nice new kitchen with that nice backsplash. And as I was saying, that South Meridian, CUNA area, a lot of these houses we looked at, you can get more acreage for a more affordable price just because it is a little bit less desirable of a place to live. Once you get into that Eagle, Middleton, Star area, the price points are pretty much a million plus. A lot of the houses that you see up there are gonna be one, 1 1.5, 2 million, and they're gonna be a lot more newer builds. But as you can see, this also has an awesome lawn. It's not gonna have as nice of a backyard as some of the other homes that we looked at. And you can just see it's not as high end and renovated as some of the others. This was a newer build, but they haven't done any renovation other than it looks like the kitchen was fully renovated. So listed at 789,000. Again, it's a three bedroom, three bath, 2000 square feet. Last home I have is going to be centrally located. It's going to be closer to the amenities, closer to the Treasure Valley, closer to the interstate. This one's listed at $760,000. It's a four bedroom, three bathroom, 1900 square feet. This one has a little bit more acreage at 2.7 acres. And as you can see, it's right next to the interstate more centrally located it is nice because you are a lot closer getting access to meridian nampa and a lot of the amenities that the treasure valley has to offer and as you'll see this home is not going to be renovated it's not going to have those high-end finishes like some of the other homes we've seen which is represented in that list price. It is not out of date. It's still an awesome looking home with awesome appliances, that great kitchen, but it's not gonna be as quite as nice as some of the other ones. It is in a great location. You are gonna get what you pay for. Now, if during this video, you do wanna see some of those higher end price points in that Eagle Star and Middleton area, I'd love to hear a comment. And just let me know that you'd like to see some of those acre lots for that 1 million plus in the Eagle Star and Middleton areas. This is gonna be a similar story to some of the others where you have some acreage that is unused and then a little bit less nice on the landscaping. There is gonna be some work that needs to be done if you want it to look up to par like some of those other properties. And as you can see from this photo, it is right there next to the interstate. So you'd have to go see if you can hear the interstate. I'd imagine you can a little bit, a lot of stuff to do there with that 2.7 acres. If you wanna see more of that or you just have questions, feel free to shoot, or shoot me a call or shoot me a text any time of the day. I'd love to get to know you. So thank you guys for watching. Hopefully this gave you some eyes on some acreage houses listed in the Treasure Valley area. Thanks for watching.